You may remember me from October broadcast from last year when I stole that kid's car keys. Or when I chased that goat down the hallway. Exorcist. I'm well, you get the idea. Like ghosts and all of that. But today, I'm not here to steal or chase anyone. I'm here to talk about this. The coronavirus. It is still at large here at North, and we just want to make sure you stay safe this Halloween. Always remember to cover your nose and mouth completely in order to be 100% safe. And remember, a Halloween mask isn't going to protect you from the virus, so make sure you wear it underneath your costume mask, or you can even dress up as a doctor. And remember, this mask is to protect you and everyone around you. Now have a safe Halloween, everybody. Live from KDN HQ, it's Contact Before Consumption with your host, Jay Rowe. Hey, ho, it's your host, Jay Rowe, and welcome to the show. We have a special guest, Gojira, 1954. Come on out here, man. So, what are we talking about? How are you doing, man? Stop talking. Unlike the films that followed it, the first Godzilla is much darker than what we'd expect from a series that's usually about grown men in rubber costumes destroying buildings. Instead, Gojira focuses on a parallel to the Hiroshima bombings of 1954. You see, Godzilla was created as a symbol of thermonuclear weapons as well as a victim affected by said thermonuclear weapons. The film is dark, somber, and scary, and shows the nature of war and the effects that nuclear weaponry can have. This all culminates into a message at the end where Godzilla, who is the embodiment of the atom bomb, is destroyed by another bigger, stronger weapon, and to hit this message home, this is one of the few movies where Godzilla actually dies at the end. What really adds to this film's feel is the atmosphere. In order to create the look of it all, the movie was shot using a low-key lighting effect. This is because low-key lighting would create a darker toned picture with contrasting bright colors, which is more suitable for a dramatic shot. Hold it! Um, don't you remember our deal? Uh, no. We had a deal! It's me, Sneaky Pete of Sneaky Pete's Halloween Treats! The Halloween candy famous for not existing! I was supposed to be your sponsor! Uh, oh! Hey, I'm sorry about that, man. Is there, um, is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Let me do some of this Godzilla video you're doing. Have it, amigo. Fun fact, the Gojira suit was made by wrapping thin wires and bamboo with chicken wire. Cushions and fabric were also added for the actor's comfort. Hand-stirred atex was later applied onto the suit of skin. Another fun fact, Godzilla's famous roar sound was made by pushing a rubber glove against a bass guitar. Did you know that? Probably not. Did, did you know that? No, thanks for telling me. That was that was pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go leave now. Okay, man. Uh, do door's right over there. So, Jira, how do you feel now? Do you feel more? No, sneaky. Not the, no, sneaky. It's that way. Oh, sorry. Honest mistake. So, Jira, how do you feel now? You feel more insight into your life? Did I fix your problems? I am very confused. Tonight's episode of Context for Consumption was brought to you by Sneaky Pete's Halloween Treats. Available nowhere. Whoa. Trivia. Oh, dude, I actually, dude, I actually know this. I actually know this answer. Big did, right? And the correct answer is. Who, who got the question right? I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who's a wordsmith. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I bet. We're right. almost out of time. Right, right. Oh, I didn't spell a real word. Oh, I know this bad boy. Um, hey, 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 Nate, it's uh, Dunkaroos. Okay. I'm dead serious. Trust me, trust me. Oh, never mind. Noble gases. Noble, dude, where, dude, where's Van Open when you need him, dude? Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the game. Oh. Oh. Hey, man, I won! 
for one. Oh, 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 what? Actually know that. I did. I just guessed all of them to move back. Fine. So, first of all, do you even celebrate Halloween? Uh, uh, we, we generally do celebrate some kind of Halloween, yes. Um, really? Nothing? I just kind of, you know, I have a party here, hang out with people. Did you, when you were a kid or even as an adult, did you ever dress up? Uh, well, I'm originally from the Netherlands, and they don't do Halloween back there, so mm -hmm. that that was no part of the equation, dressing up for Halloween, but I did dress up for some other parties. First costume was, I was Gandalf one year. Somebody thought I was Moses. If you were in a horror movie, what type of character do you think you would be? <laughs> That's a good question. Maybe the man scientists, sure. <laughs> so if you were in a horror movie, what type of character would you be? Would you be the survivor? I'd probably be the one that survived the longest because I don't make stupid decisions like everybody else in horror movies does. first opened our doors in 1956. Non-specific company has always been there for you, ready to help in any way we can through this pandemic. Through thick and thin, we'll do what we always do, take care of families. Even now, through these times of uncertainty, while the distance between us has gotten bigger, we still find ways to stay close even when we're apart. Non-specific company is here to help, and we'll get through this together.
Dan? We're live. God. Oh. You guys really spamming the chat? Oh. Behind me, what's behind me? <laughs> 